Okay, hello everyone. Here is Hawk and I'm Helena and we'll continue our discussions about healthy community in UNSU because now we are kind of warm, warmed up for these discussions. If you're just switching in, we are both candidates for the municipality elections in UNSU. Um, please have a look at the previous videos that we made because they build up to this video. Yeah, so now the topic is what is healthy community? <clears throat> In Joensuu, what consists, what, who, what, what is all of us together here? Um, so. What do you think? So, actually, I feel that we should kind of think that the community in Joensuu is, on the other hand, we can talk about the human community, or on the, or we can have an even broader perspective of community of all living beings that live in in, in Joensuu, that it's not only human beings. But um, if we talk about the human beings here in Joensuu and our human community, um, the foundations for well-being here, for people who have lived here a long time and then people who have moved here more recently. So, wow, it's a, it's a big topic topic and uh, we have been talking about the foundations for good life and growth in, in Joensu. And one thing that comes to me as important in Joensu community is that nobody is alone. Like it's really, my heart is really touched with this topic of loneliness. Like a lot of people as, uh, well, the loneliness has increased, especially now, the past year, because of these circumstances. But, um, but there, we have had a lot of lonely people in our communities. People are both existentially alone, even if they have people around them, but, but also people like elderly people, um, young people who, who don't have peers or family or um, group where they feel belonging to. So this is, this is the social aspect. We have talked a lot about environmental aspects also, but, but um, so I think at least for me important importance in developing this community somehow to find ways where we can be more together, more together on the things we make and how we build this community and how can we increase this sense of togetherness and um, and I think that uh, one important thing for really building this is is uh, in the bottom line is about us feeling comfortable as who we are as who we are and as individuals and when, when I sit here with you, Huck, I think you, respect, you represent definitely a person who has found himself, who, who is, really has found his own truth, his own way of living ecologically and ethically in this community, in this environment. Um, and it's really a coming home to oneself, because when one is home to oneself, one is, one is inevitably in connection with nature and is, is a strong and comfortable, socially comfortable character. Um, so I feel that na somehow nature and one's own self-awareness are very linked together. And when a person is self-aware, one is also living more in harmony with nature. Uh, so. When people are lonely, I feel oftentimes it can be really that they, that there's something is not in balance there, and and why they feel that the people around them are not uh, reflecting who they are, or they feel that they can connect because so many people in our in our society are have somehow lost this self aware connection to their own nature, to who they are, what is their way way to be in balance with their nature. Mm. Do you get what I mean with this? 
Yeah, I'm trying to imagine like a, f a, a moment of loneliness. So I'm trying to imagine how how does it feel? What do I do when I feel alone? Where I do seek uh, connection, right? Where do mm -hmm. I? And, and it, it becomes very tempting to take the phone from the pocket and just go on something, YouTube, Facebook, and suddenly you are not so alone anymore, which is, you know, it is really interesting because yes, the phone can connect us, right? The phone is a very interesting tool for our community, right? We can stay in connection, contact with each other. At the same time, it's a piece of plastic in your hand and technology. So um, when I think now, what is the broader sense of community, right? So community, first of all, is, is a survival priority. Like we have six survival mm -hmm. priorities. We have food, water, shelter, air, health, and community. Mm. And the interesting part about community is that, let's say you don't have a shelter, you do not have water, you don't have food, you don't have health. Uh, you don't have good enough air, right? Let's say you're having, um, you know, um, your, your heart stops beating, community can take care of that. Oh. Somebody can help mm -hmm. you, right? So community is the only priority that can back up for any of, like a lack of the others. That's beautiful. Okay. So, and for this reason, it really makes sense to, to invest in community. Right, it's it's a even if you're very selfish, you know, really invest yourself in the community. It will pay back, mm. right? And and I'm trying to understand where are we with our community, right? What is our sense of community in the moment, and what happened to our community? What kind of customs do we have, and why is it that there is communities in the world that I have had the the privilege to visit and experience where connection is like really there, right? People are really connected with themselves, with each other and with the rest of the natural community. And, and I feel like greeting is a big part of that. Just greeting and being grateful, like these little things, mm. like when you, when you walk, you know, somewhere you go to the supermarket, you see someone and you just, you know, give it a nod because often there's eye contact and then like often the, the eyes turn away, right? Ooh, there was eye contact. But if you, if you, <laughs> if you give it a nod, right? If you just give a greeting, there will be a greeting back. Yeah. It's always like that. And I think that's just so beautiful to see that it's really easy to, you know, to, to bring smiles into each other's lives mm -hmm. and take care of our community in very easy and simple ways just by listening to each other, listening to not to know when it's your turn to talk, but listening to understand mm. and listening to understand who is the other one, no matter if it's a human or, or a non-human animal, right? Mm. What is, who is the other one? What's their, your story? And what is your passion? What is your need? And maybe I can ask you a nice question that will forward you on your journey. Mm. And I think this is something that I believe that can somehow combat the loneliness, right? And I wouldn't even want to focus on the combating, right? I want to focus on the, you know, not ignoring the bad, but going for what is nice, right? Like mm -hmm. just looking into, into the, the, the utopia of connection. And it's not an utopia, you know, it's happening. We feel connected. Mm -hmm. And um, even though you're sitting there on another piece of technology with a, somehow time and space machine between us, right? You're, you're having your reality, you're sitting in your here and now, we are sitting in our here and now, and we can still talk with each other, and we can still connect, which I think is really amazing. So when it comes to need to have and nice to have, I think we should hold on to electric communication, mm. at least for some time. So dear community members, please join the discussions and it's still possibility even join the elections to become yes. candidate yourself. So just, just connect and um, thank you for listening. I really loved your point about the, the community being essential and, um, and there's still more to discuss. So and yeah. please, again, I want to stress community is essential including the human community mm -hmm. like i would put 
the rest of the Netsville community as like like we, we like to say in the in this community of nature connection mentors we like to call it the more than human world that part of our community really needs us to invest ourselves into it the benefits are just overwhelming thank you thank you all for listening and wishing you a really beautiful day thank you Huck. likewise thank you. <laughs>